Hello, I am Ian from the Shetland Library and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about DBC Microbits. Now Microbit is a fun educational platform which allows children to learn and expand their knowledge of block coding, whether that's in scratch coding, which the library already runs classes in at a beginner's and intermediate level, or MicroPython, which can lead on to Python coding. What's Python coding? Well, Python coding is Google, it's YouTube, it's the internet. It's essentially what runs everything. Each of the secure packs available on loan from Shetland Library we had a hyperlink to the BBC Microbit org website and the handy guide page. They also contain a fold out quick start guide, a backup power source for which batteries will be required. This means that once you flash your code to the Microbit itself, you don't actually have to have it plugged into your computer or laptop to run it, making it portable for certain projects. There's the micro USB cable, which is essential for downloading code to the micro bit, and there's the micro bit itself. If I turn it over, carefully avoiding the brass strip along the bottom whenever possible, you'll see there's a reset button, there's the two power sources for the backup battery and the micro USB, there's a Bluetooth antenna here for future projects. There's the processor, compass and accelerometer, all of which lend its, uh, the microbit to a variety of different projects and expansion projects by purchasing other items which can interact with it. Or you can just stick with the microbit itself. For those of you who haven't tried it before, Scratch is a fun, easy to learn block coding program available on the internet from this site. Here we have an example of Scratch code programming. And here we have an example of some of the very simple and basic block coding that's required for a basic program involving our BBC Microbit. So that's it for our brief introduction to the BBC Microbit. There's a lot more can be done with it, a lot more projects to be done at the BBC Microbit website, and it's my intention over the next few days to try out a few more of those projects, so I hope you'll tune in next time. Anyway, thank you for your time. I'm Ian from the Shetland Library saying goodbye.